Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church bringing you a devotional today out of the book of Colossians. In Colossians 1 verse 13, it says, Who hath delivered us from the powers of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. And so this is one of the many, many verses in Scripture that describe our salvation in Christ. Now, Paul here is talking about God the Father. In verse 12, it says, Give thanks to God the Father. And we have that in verse 13. Why? Because... He has, he has delivered us from the powers of darkness. You see, before Christ came into our life, we were all living under the control of the power of darkness. We were living under the influence. No matter how good you thought you were, no matter all the good that you've done without Christ, we were living under the control of the power of darkness. Now, the problem is, is that many of us don't realize this. And so many of us live our life content to be in the powers of darkness, maybe because we like it, maybe because it feels good, maybe because it satisfies us, or maybe because we've just never looked past our, our own, our, you know, our, the own, the here and the now to consider eternity. That's one of the biggest things that, that we have going on, especially in America today, is we're so busy, we're so caught up in ourselves, we're so caught up in the here and now that we don't look up to God or we don't look at eternity. And so therefore we, we go through life with almost blinders on. But Paul says that, that one of the things that God does for us is he delivers us from the power of darkness and then translates us or changes us or forms us or molds us into the kingdom of his dear son. You see, this work of salvation is all about change. You cannot just say, I'm saved, I believe in Jesus, and then can continue on living a sinful life. It is all about a change. That's what it means to be translated into the kingdom of God. Now, that doesn't mean we're not going to sin. We have a sinful nature that can well up inside of us, a sinful nature that can, that can sometimes get the better of us, but it means that we are on the path to heaven. It means that each and every day we are becoming less and less like ourselves and more and more like Christ. We cannot just say, I'm going to remain the same. If you are going to have an experience with Jesus, if you experience the risen Lord, then you cannot and, and should not remain the same. There is going to be a change in your life because Christ has come in, because the Holy Spirit fills you and he makes those changes. And so my message for you today is this. Once you were living in the power under the control of the power of darkness... Now you have been translated into the into the kingdom of his dear son, into the kingdom of Jesus. So live a life worthy of that calling. Paul says in other places, live as citizens of heaven. So my question then for us to consider today is, what does your citizenship say about you? Or I, I should, let me phrase it like this. What does your action say about your citizenship? Are you a citizen of the earth? Or are you a citizen of the kingdom of God? Are you living in the power of darkness? Or are you, or have you been transformed or translated into the kingdom of his dear son? Um, church, my message for you today is to live as, live as members of the kingdom of Christ. Amen.